Hello, green thumbs and budding gardeners. Today we're going to dive into a topic that's close to many of our hearts, how to garden in small spaces. In the world of gardening, space is often seen as a luxury, but what if we told you that with the right techniques, even the smallest of spaces can turn into a lush green Eden? Whether you're working with a compact balcony, a tiny backyard, or even a cozy indoor area, there's a world of potential waiting to be unlocked. From raised beds to vertical gardening, we're about to explore how to make the most of every inch of your space. We'll also touch upon choosing the right plants, intercropping, and succession planting to maximize your yield. The key is to work with what you have and not against it, embracing the unique challenges and opportunities that come with small space gardening. So, ready to turn that compact area into a blooming paradise? Let's get started. First things first, you need to know your space. Delving into the world of small space gardening, understanding your available area is crucial. Think of it as a canvas where you're about to create your green masterpiece. Now don't just focus on the ground. Look around. Observe the light conditions. Does your space receive full sunlight, partial shade, or is it mostly shadowed? Remember, sunlight is a vital ingredient for most plants. Next, let's talk soil. Is it sandy, clayey, or loamy? Each type of soil has its pros and cons. For instance, sandy soil drains quickly but may not hold nutrients well, while clay soil retains water but may not provide adequate aeration. Loamy soil? Well, it's the Goldilocks of soils, just right, with a balanced mixture of sand, silt, and clay. And hey, if your natural soil isn't up to par, don't fret. That's where soil amendments and potting mixes come into play. They can help you create the ideal growing environment for your plants. Knowing your space is the first step to a successful small space garden. So roll up those sleeves and let's get gardening. Now, what to plant? The choices can be overwhelming, but here's a tip. When it comes to gardening in small spaces, the selection of plants plays a crucial role. It's important to choose plants that are suitable for small spaces. For instance, dwarf varieties of your favorite fruits and vegetables are a fantastic choice. They bring the same joy and flavor, but in a more compact form. Also, consider plants that grow vertically. Vine plants like cucumbers, beans, or even some types of squash can be trained to grow upwards. This takes advantage of the vertical space that often goes unused in small gardens. Think about what you enjoy eating too. If you love salads, why not grow quick yielding greens? They mature quickly, providing a steady supply of fresh leaves. And don't forget about the beauty of flowers. Some can even be edible. Choosing the right plants not only maximizes your space but also increases your yield and reduces competition for resources. So take your time, do your research, and pick plants that will thrive in your unique garden space. Remember, the right plant can make all the difference. Let's talk about how to make the most out of your limited space. When garden space is limited, every inch counts. But fear not, there are a few techniques you can use to maximize your garden's potential. First, consider vertical gardening. This technique allows you to use up space that is typically overlooked. Think of your garden as a three-dimensional canvas. You can grow climbing plants like cucumbers or pole beans on trellises, or hang pots of strawberries from your porch. Vertical gardening isn't just practical, it can also create a visual spectacle. Next, intercropping is a method where you plant small, quick-growing crops in between larger, slower-growing ones. This way, you can harvest the smaller crops while the larger ones are still growing, making the most of your space over time. Finally, succession planting. This involves planting one crop immediately after another. As soon as you harvest your spring peas, plant your summer cucumbers in the same spot. This keeps your garden productive throughout the growing season. With a little creativity, even the smallest space can yield a bountiful harvest. Don't have a yard? No problem. Container gardening is a fantastic solution. It's like having a portable garden that you can place anywhere, on a patio, balcony, or even a windowsill. It's not just about the convenience, though. Container gardening offers a plethora of benefits. It allows for better control over the soil, light, and water conditions, making it easier to provide your plants with the optimal growing environment. Choosing the right containers is key. They should be large enough to accommodate your plants, but small enough to move around if needed. Remember, different plants have different root depths, so choose your containers accordingly. And don't forget to ensure they have adequate drainage. 
Now caring for plants in containers isn't much different from caring for them in the ground. They need regular watering, as containers can dry out quickly, especially in hot weather. Feed them with a balanced plant food to make sure they get all the nutrients they need. And most importantly, give them the love and attention they deserve. Container gardening is a versatile and adaptable way to garden in small spaces. Another great option for small spaces is raised bed gardening. These elevated plots not only add a unique aesthetic to your garden, but also bring numerous benefits for your plants. Raised beds offer better drainage, reducing the risk of waterlogged plants. Moreover, by elevating the soil, plants enjoy warmer temperatures, which can extend your growing season. Setting up a raised bed can be as simple as stacking untreated wooden planks and filling the enclosure with a rich mix of topsoil and compost. Remember to keep the width at a maximum of 4 feet to ensure easy access to your plants from both sides. Maintaining a raised bed garden is also straightforward. Regular watering is key, as raised beds tend to dry out faster. Also, replenish the soil with organic matter like compost or well-rotted manure every season to keep it nutrient-rich. By growing upward instead of outward, you can plant more in less space, making raised bed gardening a productive use of limited space. So whether you're growing juicy tomatoes, crunchy cucumbers, or aromatic herbs, raised beds can provide abundant crops in a compact area. If outdoor space is a challenge, why not bring the garden indoors? Indoor gardening offers a myriad of benefits from purifying the air to creating a calming atmosphere. It's also a great way to grow herbs, vegetables, and fruits all year round, regardless of the weather outside. Setting up an indoor garden is relatively straightforward. First, you'll want to choose the right plants. Opt for plants that thrive indoors, like ferns, succulents, or herbs like basil and parsley. Remember, some plants require more light than others, so consider the natural light available in your home. Next, consider the containers. This is where you can get creative. Use pots, jars, or even repurposed items like mason jars or old teapots. Ensure there's adequate drainage, though, to prevent water logging. Maintenance is key. Regular watering, adequate light, and the right temperature are crucial. But don't overwater. This is a common mistake in indoor gardening. Remember, each plant is unique and has its own water needs. Indoor gardening isn't just about plants. It's about creating a space that brings you joy, a place where you can relax and unwind. So personalize your indoor garden. Add decorative elements like fairy lights or small statues. Make it a space that reflects you. Indoor gardening can bring the beauty and benefits of plants into any home. So why not give it a try? You might just find it's the perfect solution to your gardening needs. Balconies and rooftops can also make excellent gardens. They are fantastic spaces for those living in apartments or with limited ground space. The benefits are numerous. You can enjoy fresh air, sunshine, and the satisfaction of growing your own plants, all while making efficient use of your space. When setting up a balcony or rooftop garden, it's crucial to consider the weight capacity of your space. Opt for lightweight containers and use potting soil instead of garden soil, which tends to be heavier. Remember, safety first. Choosing the right plants is also key. Favor those that thrive in containers and can tolerate wind and direct sunlight, which are common conditions on balconies and rooftops. Think tomatoes, peppers, herbs, or even dwarf fruit trees. Watering is another important aspect. Most rooftop and balcony gardens will require more frequent watering than ground-level gardens due to more exposure to wind and sun. However, be careful not to overwater and ensure your containers have good drainage. Lastly, consider how you'll arrange your plants. Use vertical space wisely with trellises or shelves. This way, you can grow more while keeping your space organized and easy to navigate. With careful planning, a balcony or rooftop can be transformed into a lush oasis. So, don't let that space go to waste. Start your balcony or rooftop garden today and enjoy the fruits of your labor from the comfort of your home. So, there you have it. 15 handy tips for gardening in small spaces. We've covered a lot of ground today, pun intended, and I hope that you are feeling inspired and ready to take on the challenge of gardening in your own small space. Let's take a quick walk down memory lane. We started by discussing the basics, how to get started, and the importance of choosing the right plants for your space. Remember, it's crucial to choose plants you enjoy and that thrive in your local climate. We also explored how to maximize your garden's productivity by using techniques like succession planting, interplanting, 
and vertical gardening. These strategies make the most of every inch of space. We then moved on to the wonders of container gardening, a flexible and versatile option that allows for a lot of creativity. And let's not forget the benefits of raised bed gardening, a method that brings numerous advantages such as improved soil conditions and better pest control. We also ventured indoors, exploring the potential of indoor gardening. With the right care and the right plants, you can have a lush green oasis right inside your home. And finally, we touched on the untapped potential of balcony and rooftop gardening. These spaces can be transformed into productive, gorgeous gardens with a little planning and effort. Gardening in small spaces may seem daunting at first, but as we've seen, there are numerous strategies and approaches that can make it not only feasible, but also highly rewarding. The joy of watching your plants grow, the satisfaction of eating your own homegrown produce, and the calming effect of being surrounded by greenery are rewards that are truly priceless. So, what type of garden fits your lifestyle? Is it a container garden on your sunny windowsill, a raised bed in your backyard, or a vertical garden on your balcony? Whatever it may be, I encourage you to embrace the magic of small space gardening. Share your thoughts in the comments below and happy gardening!